Welcome everyone, my name is the Grumpy Turtle and this is Warframe. Now I usually, no, I never make Warframe videos and I'm not planning on doing any Warframe videos, I just play this on my off time just to relax and just to farm because I love farming games. While I was playing, I, I was farming for the Torrid because because of the missions, uh, the Daviri missions, it gave the incarnate form of the of the weapon. Let me see. Yeah, the Thor Thor incarnate Genesis. So, I I got the weapon, and because because of a bunch of videos, of course, that saying it's the best beam weapon at the moment, and it's it's the strong. Oh, I don't know if it's the strongest, but it's the best beam weapon. And as I was leveling it, I realized something, and I'll be showing you that right now. <laughs> Okay, so I'm here in the simulacrum where I'll be showing you what this gun does. So, those who know, the Torrid is uh, a projectile based weapon. Shoot this little projectile that then makes this gas loud, damaging anybody that passes through it or that you hit. If you have the incarnate form, as you can see, I have this little bar beneath my crosshairs that builds up and then there it is max and then you activate it now you have the incarnate form of the weapon that is a beam as you can see as you use it as most of you would know or will know it's it's training the ammo beneath the crosshair that's how the incarnate weapons work right it's yeah just using the ammo yeah, that's normal that's normal but the thing I realized while I was farming or not farming leveling the weapon and I always use Saren to level my weapons I just I just enjoy Saren is if you use toxic lash the third ability while in incarnate form right look at that it resets it every time so you essentially have infinite ammo infinite incarnate form which will never run out until obviously until the ability runs out then it starts draining again but all you have to do is reactivate it and boom infinite incarnate form now if you're thinking well maybe this is a bug in the simulacrum well no I have done this in steel path I've joined people but it, it's on and off if you join someone with either a bad connection or just people in general it doesn't work but if you host and people join you it works fine or if you're solo it does work so let me show you uh, how it looks like in steel path as you can see steel path um, let's go to any survival steel path no 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 I wanna go solo hold on yeah okay see you in the mission okay, so here we are your weapons make music and the enemy calls for a song yeah indeed life support has been cut off they're trying to choke you out Hold on. I'm sending auxiliary life support. Direct hits in Conan form. You can see normally. Oh, wait. I didn't change it? Nope. Okay. In Conan form. Beam weapon. As you see. 
it it drains right like normally but if you activate toxic lash it keeps on coming back now if you're not me you'll probably survive longer because i suck in steel path i do not know how to stay alive but there you see infinite incarnate form in steel path I won't say it makes Steel Path easy, but it does make it fun, though. Get ready for a capsule. Oh, yeah. As you see, I died, which is fine. So as you can see, I just have to do it all again. And even even the projectile weapon is pretty good for a uh, steel path if you have a build for it which I don't so there you go and Tornin it I've delivered a life support capsule it drains to the area. activating it will buy I just want to show time. you when it's near empty yeah as you can see I have it near empty right now Activate Toxic Lash, and it's full again. And I died again. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. And enjoy farming!